in this short video about Phoenix object settings, I'd like to explain how they can be set up for any Phoenix workflow object, and we'll demonstrate this using a plot object. More than one can be set or stored for each object type, so you can have a variety of these predefined template settings. They can also be applied retrospectively by that. I mean that we can load up a template after we've initially created, and they can also be set to be the application's default, which means that you're changing how Phoenix is pre-configured to create plots or to run NCA. So here we are within Phoenix. I already have a project open that has a data from a simple crossover study. And if I want to plot that, normally what I would simply do is take my worksheet, send to plotting, I'm going to choose XY plot, and then we have the subject as my group, treatment description, I'm going to make the lattice condition by column, and we'll have relative virtual time for X and raw concentration for Y. Executing that, I'll then see the two plots side by side on a single page. If I wanted to apply formats to that, typically I would go down here and start saying, okay, I don't want, for instance, any markers. Alternatively, I may already have some formats predefined in these object settings that we already spoke of. So I right-click, choose Load Object Settings, choose Spaghetti Lin by Treatment, say OK. And now I have got that loaded. It resets potentially the mappings here as well, as well as the formats. I'm happy with that. I click Execute. And now I see the two plots side by side. They're slightly larger. And we have a X axis scaled to have tick marks at every four hours. Those, those settings can be applied again and again. So I can right click, pick up another object setting. And this time, for instance, say I want the log spaghetti and click OK. Mappings are slightly different now. We can see that the group is includes stream of description. So that means I'm going to get a single plot because there's no longer any lattice conditions. Execute that. We see it is indeed a log plot with no lattice. If these are the sort of definitions for a plot or any other object setting you're using uh, that you want to have applied every time from the beginning, you can actually make those a default. So let me show you how to save an object setting. So save object setting. I can use the existing name or set a new name. And I can set as default and say OK. And what that means is now any time I make an XY plot, it still says XY plot here, but the defaults set are now new name. So I just have to click Execute, and there it is. If I want to manage those further, I go to Edit, Preferences, Object Settings, and there you can see new name as default. And I've also got currently my NCA set to lin log rather than linear trapezoid as installed. And that ends the demo. Thank you very much.